Welcome back to my series on how to use shortcuts as a content creator on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update one of your shortcuts and run it either from the share sheet or from the shortcuts app on your phone or iPad. Tap on the share icon and then scroll all the way to the bottom. You can see that I have a shortcut that says remove image background. This is one that I built. If I tap on it, it removes the background of an image. Notice the preview. If I tap on done, the shortcut finishes. Here's the image with the background removed. What if you wanted to select a photo to remove the background as well as run it from the share sheet? Locate your shortcut. Tap the three dots to open the shortcut editor. Notice up at the top here it says receive images input from share sheet. If there's no input, stop and respond with the message that you see. If I run this shortcut from here by tapping the play icon, this message is displayed telling you that this shortcut has to be run from the share sheet. Here's how you fix it. First, Tap OK to dismiss the message. Tap where it says Stop and Respond. You can see that you have a list of options. Stop and Respond, which is selected now. Ask for, Get Clipboard, and Continue. By default, when you use the variable called Shortcut Input, Continue is selected. If you tap on Continue, and instead choose the option ask for, the shortcut automatically knows that I want to ask for photos. So now if I run the shortcut once more, I can select the photo that I want to use. Let's take this photo for example. There's a preview. If I tap on done, you can see the photo. If I tap on remove image background, I'll choose another photo. Let's grab this image here. You can see the preview. If I tap on done, there's the image. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.